Hi, I'm Dan Palmieri. And I'm Natalie Wainwright. Join us on Vegas Ventures as we take you on an adventure through our Las Vegas city. Welcome to our very first Vegas Ventures. No better place to start than the old Las Vegas Mormon Fort. I'm gonna kill my simple lord in me. So as you come to the Las Vegas Mormon Fort, it's pretty cool, it's a state park. And as you come into the Welcome Center, it takes you from the early 1800s, including native civilization going back 12,000 years, all the way down to the early 1900s, talking about the rise of Las Vegas. It kind of ends with it as the start of the city truly starts to happen. Pain of the first July 4th ever in Las Vegas in 1855, right where we're standing. I'm going to hang. Next to one of my favorite women of Las Vegas history, this is Helen Stewart, the first lady of Las Vegas. Helen is a woman after my own heart. Her husband died in a gunfight, so she took over the Mormon fort in 20 years. She lived here for years and years. The original house was actually moved to North Las Vegas in 1960. So a really cool part of the old Las Vegas Mormon fort is this original eastern portion of the wall of the adobe and limestone fort. This is over 160 years old, which in Vegas is as old as it gets. So we're now in a replica ranch house of what once stood here at the old Las Vegas Mormon fort. Actually, this is a lasting portion of the original brick fixtures of the fort. Next to it shows you kind of how they designed the bricks, laying them in this template, if you will. And this room is full of artifacts, different things from the period, and stuff that the settlers here would be using living here at the fort. During the Civil War, this fort was actually called the Baker Fort, named after Edward Baker. He served in office from about 1837 to 1861 and died during the Battle of the Balls Bluff. So here you have three pictures of O.D. Gass, Archibald, and Helen Stewart, all original settlers and owners of the fort. If you drive in downtown Las Vegas today, you have streets both named after Gass and Stewart. Uh, Stewart is pretty famous right now where the old Las Vegas City Hall used to be. It's now the current uh, headquarters of Zappos on Stewart Avenue. My name is Derek Fainer. I'm the park interpreter here at the old Las Vegas Mormon Fort. We are a state park uh, near downtown Las Vegas that preserves the site where Las Vegas really begins. Uh, this is the first non-native settlement here in Las Vegas, uh, and we have the oldest building in Las Vegas on site. Ventures as we explore our awesome city. Make sure to subscribe and follow our journey throughout Las Vegas. Hey, welcome to. As you can see, we're approaching the old fort. What's on your head? My sun hat. Did you bring that just for today? No, I keep this in my car for the kids' games. Yeah, okay. There's a painting. Sorry, I don't know. So here you see three pictures of O.D. Gass, Archibald Stewart, 